Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card and we are going to address the marriage subject again. And it's been a little while, but I definitely need to update this topic every once in a while. I'm asking um, three questions. Who is your future husband? When will you marry? And how do you know them? Like, how did you meet? Or how do you know them in your world? <laughs> kind of. It's just a little extra clue. It's just a one card clue that might help you at the end of the reading. Also, um, to help us with the with dates, we have the pendulum. We're going to use this fun pendulum this time um, with the year that you might get married. And then the letterman will tell us um, more of the date. And it's not, you know, I'm just saying this is extremely general. If you see any kind of resonance in any of these piles, then that's, that's for you. Especially if the person sounds like somebody familiar or somebody that makes sense for you to marry. It could be a complete surprise, like somebody you don't even know yet. But um, generally speaking, I think you're going to know this person a little bit, have some kind of inclination who they are. And um, so that so go into it with that kind of feeling, I think. Go into it with a feeling of sort of knowing it because this is sort of va verifying who it is. Who is who are you going to marry? And so I'll come up with a little bit of a personality, some clues. I say him because the counterpart is in here as well. The feminine, so it's, there's all three piles will have a little bit of feminine and masculine. So take it, um, I'm taking it as a point of view as a heterosexual female looking for a heterosexual male, but wherever you are in this situation, definitely put yourself where you see yourself. You may have different preferences and, and that's completely fine. You know, just, just um, try to use this context in your situation. Okay, so we have three piles. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Pile one is the citron chip. Pile two is a quartz, clear quartz moon, crescent moon. Whoop. And pile three is the desert rose. It's so, you know, unassuming and benign, but I just love this little rock, the desert rose, from the Goddess Provisions box. Okay, so like I said, this isn't going to resonate for every single person. And maybe you're already married and you just want to see if it matches up, you know, your person's characteristics. You can do that too. It's for fun, guys. It's really for fun. So let's just um, push out a breath, take a deep breath, close your eyes, release your breath, open your eyes, and now let them go to the pile that's meant for you. You can. You could choose more than one. Maybe the whole three piles has to do, you know, a little bit of each pile will have to do with who you're going to marry. So you can do it that way. Do it whatever way spirit guides you. Another way would be like to put your palm over, ooh, which one's hottest? They're all very warm. <laughs> I feel the heat from them though. That's the weird part. They're equally warm. So all three piles are true for me. <laughs> Bits and pieces for me will be true in all three piles. And so you don't, you know, I don't know what's true for you, but you decide and let's begin. Okay, here's number one with the citron rock, the little citron chip. So let's get some ideas. This is also, by the way, a, a Ciro reading, all Ciro Marchetti's artwork. And so this is the gilded the Gilded Royale <laughs> Borderless. When it came out, I was like, oh yes, I must have Borderless. Alright, so first you got the King of Cups. So that's a good start. Um, whenever you have kings, usually it signifies somebody handsome, somebody who's mature, you know, who's got their stuff together. Um, he is a steady presence in turbulent seas. He's fatherly and kind. He's a source of emotional support and helpful. And he'd be somebody who'd be willing to give you advice. He could be like the social worker type, you know. Um, he's a very comforting type of person. He has this sort of strength. 
in times of trouble. You could also be a peacemaker, you know, in a mediary, mediary. <laughs> somebody that's a, a referee, uh, somebody that helps. And this is a person who also listens with their heart and as well as their mind, and he's very compassionate. So good, that's a good start. Now, certainly there's negatives to, to cups, you know, like maybe being so emotional they might you know lose control of their emotions sometimes but in a general sense when you have when you're in the king king sphere that usually means that that's the higher uh, level that's more evolved so he's kind of grown up let's see what's next we have we have the three of pentacles excellent so it looks like a creative type a hard worker he could be a craftsman or a clergyman or an architect. But this is somebody who understands the role for which he has been um, suited. You know, he knows what's, what, what's good for him, what, what kind of job works for him. He knows he's, he's talented. He trusts his talent. He feels comfortable in his role. He feels he likes what he does, too. And he creates masterpieces, really beautiful things. And maybe you're involved with him, you know. It's, sometimes it can be a collaborative thing. And he could be a builder, some kind of, like I see architect again. <laughs> All right, and let's see what else. And then we have the high priestess. This could be um, an element of him, but it also could represent you as his counterpart. This is, um, this can sometimes represent the sign of cancer which is the moon or the energy of the moon um, it could be that your um, that your chart ruler is the moon and um, that happens sometimes depending on like what uh, you know planets are in what position but maybe you just, yeah, you just might have a, a lot of emotion in your situation or you have emotion between each other. You know, he could be a cancer because of his, because of him being the king of cups. Um, so yeah, there's a secret knowledge. He could be the one that possesses the secret knowledge. And, um, <laughs> and, I think, you know, it's like he has people that follow him or listen to him, and he reveals his knowledge to his followers. So you may live like, you may be kind of also into the higher learning, or you live in some kind of temple or some kind of really exalted place, or you you have a, a temple or an altar or some place that you, you practice your work. This shows the pillars of Boaz and Joachim, and they represent the qualities of duality, dark and light, endings and beginnings, and there's wisdom that lies in between those two. So I feel like you two together are kind of unraveling mysteries of the universe kind of thing. You could also have a psychic um, connection because of the moon and the high priestess. All right, so now let's get into when will you get married? We have the house, four. So four could be four, as soon as four months, you guys, but it could be April. And then we have the bouquet. So the house means comfort, basically, the comfort in home, which is a really good thing. And the, the bouquet means a gift, a present. Um, this could also kind of indicate uh, Pregnancy because it's a nine month period here and a gift comes after the nine months So it could be something like that too that um, is part of the situation This represents spring or September, but we have two springtime cards here. So spring sounds very likely We have the stork which also represents babies coming and change and something new and also uh, It can represent the 17th day of the month and springtime again and then we have the ship, which is about movement, a journey, a trip, um, some kind of change as well, like travel, change of residence maybe, some kind of movement. Maybe a foreign person, maybe a, a person that, that you, maybe you're going to marry a long dis 
person that has been in a long distance relationship with you or you've been in separation but you're coming together of course <laughs> to get married and then the three represents March so another springtime number so you've got home spring spring and spring and possible new babies and things on the way soon after you get married too like all of this is happening very quickly within the next year let's let's double check though let's see what year this is all happening in okay all right let don't don't lead me astray pendulum It looks like maybe the spring of 2022. That sounds pretty good. That's not that far away. <laughs> All right. And then your final card is community. So the community is just talking about um, how you, this is how you know him. You know him through some kind of community. It could be from family, it could be from friends, it could be some social media, it could be, you know, maybe you met online, maybe you met through some kind of community. Also, it's saying that in the end, this, the community is going to be very supportive and um, you're, you're gonna feel like you belong. And in timing, this is ongoing. So this is a good marriage, a marriage that's going to last. So let's see what your charms have to say. I think I dropped the ring. <laughs> All right, so you have Bell, full of love. That's good, because when you are in this energy, you definitely attract. Ooh, you got name. Somebody got mad at me from forgetting names. Don't let me forget. <laughs> so you're play ever could be a very nice playful relationship at least at this moment you know when it gets a little more serious you see you got two so that's good 22 um you've got oh yeah so this finally this this feeling that was kind of stagnant now is gonna you know it was a little closed off a little bit quiet a little bit shy now now this little shy robot is showing their love and they're also, they're kind of quirky, you know, they're unusual type, but full of energy, ex exciting and eccentric. <laughs> I was about to say excessive, but maybe excessive too. <laughs> Excessively loving, but they always had a strange way of showing it, but you're gonna look, get to know more and more. Only time will tell, a special timing for you guys. Oh, and I told you, see, the, there's a baby like on the way soon after the marriage, I think. <laughs> And you kind of know each other. You Right now, you know each other. There's sort of a fondness of memories, a feeling good together, yeah, and a hopeful feeling. And um, and this is, yeah, you're, you're both very, you know, you're in your king and queen or emperor or empress mode. You guys are highly evolved, good, um, not t neither of you toxic. You have good energy, you have lots of love, you know how to open each other's hearts, very good communication between you, and, and there's music. There's kind of like the love of music and there's sort of this song between you. So it feels a very sweet and gentle between you. And um, yeah, I think this is something that is, has been ongoing for a little while and it's evolved over time. And by the time you get married, you're gonna be really, really clicking really well it's just gonna feel really nice I think the baby situation might push it <laughs> you know for fast forward it just a little bit more than what you were expecting to like maybe you thought you didn't even need to get married but I think maybe you get pregnant and then you realize ah, I think I want to have my my child has has your name and I just want to be a family and in, in all the traditional sense too okay and I think that might be what happens here. <laughs> All right, so I hope you like that. Thumbs up if you like that. Feel free to comment below. Check out my description box. Also, if you'd like to be a member, you're welcome to hit the join button and see what kind of tiers are available for you. I would like to shout out Amir Deshawn, who is my platinum pixie, but I have a whole bunch of others. I'm just gonna name her and Lupe C specifically because they're one of my higher tier ladies and because uh, 
Mira has been just incredibly generous with everything. So thank you again, Amira. And Melanie, who has been incredibly generous and kind to me, and shout out to my Melanie, who is a, who is a Patreon. So you can go over to my Patreon page and also pledge over there and choose a tier if you want to support the channel. Other than that, though, just being um, a subscriber helps so much. And all the love that all of you pour out, whether you're a subscriber or just a visitor, I just appreciate you visitors too. It helps so much and it feels really great. And I just enjoy, you know, I just really enjoy connecting with you on a daily basis. So thank you. I'm moving on to the next. Okay, and here's pile number two with the crescent moon, quartz clear, quartz crescent moon. <laughs> All right, let's see who you're getting married to. <laughs> Remember now, I mean, who knows? This could be for real. This could really turn out to be your person or not. So just don't, you know, don't worry about it if it doesn't seem to resonate. Or maybe try one of the other piles. Or try another reading later because I am I want to do a few more of these, you know, so you can find your person. All right, so first we have the Emperor. So your person... um you know, you're masculine, it's very dominant, so I definitely feel a he here. <laughs> he's dominant, he's powerful, he's an authority, a leader type, and he feels like he deserves respect. And it's not so much that he has an ego about him at all, he just commands respect without even very much work to it. Uh, yes, and, and I feel like he's probably wealthy and has a lot of responsibility, but and intelligence and he's able to take care of things very easily he could be um have a strong mars in his chart like a mars ruler or aries maybe okay let's go move on we've got nice the six of wands which kind of really carries over six of wands talks about um Somebody who could be famous, a public figure, somebody who's kind of, he's a victorious knight with no false modesty, and he knows that success has to be earned and deserved, you know, and so he's a hard worker. He doesn't just, you know, sit on, you know, sit on it and on his bottom and just, um, you know, he, I feel like some of his situation is inheritance, but a lot of his, in, in, you know, what he has is his hard work. And um, he's respected in this community, and he's ambitious too. Like he wants to keep achieving. He's not happy just where he's at. He, but he, but he's not one of those people like a you know a goat that stomps on you know as they climb the mountain they stomp on people's heads. <laughs> no, no, he really cares about all those who have helped him, and he helps all of those who help him. So like if he raises up to the top level, he will carry you with him. He. You know, he takes those who have been helping him and he appreciates everybody's help. So, yeah, he always remembers those who help him on the way to the top. And then we have, speaking of climbers, we've got the devil, which, in, you know, also represents Capricorn. And I, so I don't want you to, to freak out too much that he has any kind of... Um, um, addictions or anything like that. I mean, he could. He could have his few vices or whatever. I think this card just mostly represents that he is a Capricorn and he's very in control of his environment and his situation and in the material world. So he might lack a little bit of balance when it comes to the spiritual. And I think that's where his twin flame comes in, or not his twin flame. <laughs> this is his wife. This is where you come in to help balance him. So his wife will come in to, I mean, it could be his twin flame as well. I'm just saying counterpart, wife, you know, significant other. The one that balances him will be a, more of a spiritual type. And so I think that's kind of what that means, you know, so he doesn't get too out of balance in his situation. But I think he has, he's a very strong, strong man. Um, and very, you know, I think he's wealthy, you know, he's big pentacle there. I think he's lusty though, you know, he definitely has a high sex drive, you know, and so you might like that about him. <laughs> All right, now let's see when are you guys going to get married. 
So we've got the fishies. Here's wealth again. Uh, money and wealth, and this represents mid-month. Here is the crossroads, 22. So we had 2022 in the first pile. That's a possibility here. Um, but 22 again means two is very important and the decision that has to be made is going to be very important. So 22 or two is like a very, is like one of your, is your power number or something special to, for you with the number two. So it could represent the 22nd of the month or two months from now, which is, would be quite fast. <laughs> then you have the anchor. So once you get married, you will be very stable. Um, Capricorns or earthly people are very stable. They once they get married, they usually it usually sticks for life. And this also talks about work again and stability. So it's going to be a stable situation, and he's he's going to have plenty of work and probably you too. Then we have. Um, the letter and 27 so this is like a contract or it could be like a full-out contract or it could be a text and I feel like this this is reading doesn't want to tell me exactly when you're gonna get married but they are telling me when you're the person your future husband is going to reach out to you so I feel like your future husband will reach out to you maybe within um, two weeks or two months and a text or some kind of communication by the end of some month like by the end of this month maybe on the 22nd to the 27th of this month so that rep you know the two weeks or you know two weeks towards the end of the month could represent some kind of communication that's coming up and when that part so some of you might not know your your future husband so that could be what you're running into in this case you don't really know them yet and when you meet them um, towards the end of the month then you're gonna know oh or when they text you or something that that next person who texts you or the you know the one that texts you within the next couple of weeks that's the one that's the one you're gonna marry <laughs> let's see what okay wait we'll look for the clues at the end let's see what year you might get married Ooh, what year let's see now this one, I feel like it's kind of any year, like it could be anything. Feels very, ooh, 2021, so next year, you guys. <laughs> All right, next year. So let's see who, who this could be. Ah, the main male. So this is somebody you know. Or this is somebody very important. Somebody you you're already thinking about. So most, so some of you, some of you already know. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. And others of you, it's somebody that you maybe don't expect. And some of you is people is somebody you don't know and that you'll know fairly soon. Like they'll come into your life or they'll send you a message and then you'll be like, oh, okay, now I get it. I feel like you're just going to have an aha moment in a couple of weeks. But it did say 2021, so I, that's fairly soon. And you, some of you might be watching this in 2021, and all of these cards add up to, let's say, a couple of weeks in the, or on the 22nd or 27th. So that's a possibility too. So hello, all you future people from the year 2020. I hope everything's better in 2021. <laughs> all right. I really hope that that worked because I know it does. Sometimes people watch, you know, year old things. And I had some good year old readings. All right, let's do your charms and see if that gives us any more clues. Okay, we've got the little mermaid it's like sing your song don't keep your feelings to yourself express yourself aladdin you might like to check out my little aladdin story that could be a clue to who your future spouse is he might not be too rich right now but he's going to be very rich by the time you marry him he might be living in the usa very stable stable steady look we have another pentacles which 
kind of matches the devil and matches stability, matches earthy signs, possibly Capricorn. It could be Mars to Aries, possibly. You've got ACDC. He's also a bit eccentric, like pile one person. You've got Mickey Mouse. So, yeah, pay attention to the Disney movies. They'll be kind of a clue to what, what love story you have. You have Genesis. So, yeah, for some of you, it will feel like it'll be a new beginning. It'll be like somebody you haven't even met yet that you're going to meet soon, and then it's going to be maybe a whirlwind situation. <laughs> then you have the bicycle, travel, like short-term travel, short-term, you know. Stepping out, you might meet somewhere when you're where you're dressed up. We're having drinks, maybe some club or something like that, maybe. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't know too many places where you where bars are open. That's for sure. But maybe, um, maybe a restaurant or something like that. So for some of you who know your person, maybe you'll have your little like a little date and have drinks together or you could go you could dress up just in your home you know and those of you who are in the year of 2021 hi i hope um that travel pans have been lifted and there's no more quarantines <laughs> i hope everything's do doing great over there in 2021 and you're out in the bars drinking again um the wheel is about you know karma destiny i feel like yeah it's like this is a very destined situation. It was it's kind of like no stopping it. It was going to happen. And you feel very fortunate. You know, you were meant to be together. Somebody nostalgic. So, I some of I think the majority of you know this person. And um you've got St. Joseph. <laughs> He's a daddy, so it could be father like the uh emperor's sort of fatherly too. He's an authority, but he's also fatherly represents the father and um we've got the um rainbow electric rainbow we have like two like uh um <laughs> lightning pictures i wonder what that means there's a, a very powerful situation here it could be an lgbt thing so for some of you it could be same sex it could represent um just a very powerful connection that's sort of this kind of makes me think of like judgment right now, like, you know, a Gabriel up on high and say, and just sort of awakening, you know, your spirit. And yeah, that's what I kind of see here. And then the Holy Grail, it's kind of like you found it. You found the, the cup, the, the, the person, the cup, the one that will fulfill you, satisfy you, give you longevity and stability and wealth and comfort. And I think your stories will come complete, you know, Aladdin will find his worth and become a king or an, even an emperor. And um, the Little Mermaid will have her get her voice pat back and be able to use her tail and her legs when she feels like it, whenever she feels like it. She will have everything she needs. Okay, you guys. Well, I hope you like that. Oh, did I do? Yeah, I did the year, right? I did 2020. Okay, so I hope you like that. Thumbs up if you like that. Feel free to comment below. Right there is the uh, a little arrow that opens up my description box. It has my all my links where you can find me. And um, please join or subscribe. For those of you who are visiting, hello, visitors. If you're a subscriber, hello, welcome back. And if you're a member, I wish I had confetti for you, but thank you so much for for um, supporting this channel. All of you support in all in all the different ways that you can, and I appreciate it very much. I do very much, and so uh, yeah. Those of you who want to who want to join, like Amira Deshawn, who is my platinum pixie, you can uh, just hit that join button and see what tiers are available. If you'd like to become a member. And you get a little, you get some readings out of it too, and, and a discounted price. And then, if you want to be a patron like my friend Melanie Williams, who you guys might know, um, you can do that too. And it's just she also and every you know those patrons also picked a tier, and you just you know um, you can get free readings out of that as well. You don't have to. You don't even have to cash in on your free readings. You can just support the channel, just like 
just like a PBS channel. <laughs> like here, I'm giving to the public, and uh, I appreciate your support. So thank you so much, guys. And I'm moving on to the next. And last but not least, we have Ale Ale, the Desert Rose. Oh my gosh! And I forgot. You know what I'm gonna do? This is not okay. I'll do this pile anyway. <laughs> Don't let me forget. I have to do Scrabble for pile number one. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're going to be mad at me, pile number one. I know they're mad at me from the last time. All right. Just ignore me. All right. So here we have, who is your husband? <laughs> Remember, you might see yourself in here too. If you're, you know, if you're looking for a wife, then you might find your wife in here. But I, in general, it's for whoever is your husband. So first of all, you've got strength. I love this one because it's got both the feminine and the masculine. It can represent a Leo in your life. Um, the masculine here is is part of your connection and you have no fear of him as the feminine. And the goodness of his heart is more powerful than his instinct to destroy. And so you guys are the perfect balance and temper each other. And he, and he protects you, you know. He's been tamed by your trust. He is strong and courageous, courageous enough to embrace the unfamiliar. Let me go see what my cat wants. <laughs> okay, kitty. Okay. I found a kitty a toy. <laughs> okay, now, now we have the magician. So the magician is like the master manifester. So this is your future husband may have may be manifesting you right now into his life, you know. He knows exactly what he wants and he's going to get it. And and whatever he imagines and wills comes to pass. He connects with the universe, the energy of the universe and grounds it to the earth. And so it's kind of like an as above so below energy with him it's this infinite energy using all his tools and resources to get whatever he wants <laughs> i feel like Ciro when he designed these he's like oh yeah i resonate with the magician so he's like yeah that's right <laughs> anyway so yes um i think that this is this is this is the man that wants that union, you know, the, the the divine union. He's not going to settle for anything less. So he's manifesting his divine counterpart, his, you know, his queen, his princess, his empress, his high priestess into his world and hoping for a perfect union. So yeah, if he's, he wants to marry you, then that's what how he sees you, you know, sort of like a very divine being. Let's see what else. Ooh, so yeah. And that goes so good. The lovers can be Gemini. So, And also I feel like the magician represents Gemini or Mercury. So he could be Mercury ruled, you know, like his chart ruler is Mercury or, or Leo. But, I mean, um, the sun. No, so Leo. Leo is an aspect that could be strong in his chart. Or just represent the dynamic between the two of you. But I feel definitely um, this mastermind here has a very strong Mercury or Gemini quality about them. Because lovers represents Gemini and the twins and the twin flame situation. So I feel like this pile probably will marry their twin flame most likely. And your twin here, here's another picture of two of a couple, you know. So... It's almost like you're inseparable. Your souls are so connected together. Um, this kind of shows a little about the Adam and Eve story, about the fruit that gives knowledge and it dispels illusion. And so, and it represents um, how Gemini is intelligent and the intellectual and about origins and yeah, divinity. And I like how the feminine here, she's solid, but the masculine is sort of sort of um, washed out. So 
it may not be a, a union that has yet happened, you know. Well, definitely the marriage hasn't happened because it's like this is what the reading is about. When you're going to marry and who is he? But I feel like there's a separation. You're together, spiritual, extremely close, connected, but physically not always. Maybe there were times you, you have been connected physically, but and most of the time, right, or at this present while you're reading, while you're watching this, there's not the connection is more of a spiritual connection. Anyway, sorry I'm reading so deep into this, but it's a very powerful card. Um, but this 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 man that you're gonna marry wants your or your divine counterpart, whoever it is. Like you, I feel like a lot of you that's watching number three could be the divine masculine watching out for your feminine. So um, both, but in in this pile spe specifically, really showing both both sides here. So you do a divine counterpart really wants the one that completes them, you know, and completes them spiritually, physically, mental, and emotionally. And, you know, he likes to be mentally stimulated. Maybe she does too. Maybe they're both sapiosexuals, but also, you know, just all parts of their being. It's just, they're very connected to the universe and to the earth, you know, <laughs> um, and he's very witty and charming, so and maybe she is as well. And I feel though, in this picture, so there's just like twins are so are like aren't nearly identical in every way except some things, right? So in this case, the masculine here, he he's kind of looks sort of like Aries, like Mars energy. You know, he has the warrior gear, and she's very feminine and soft and fluffy. And so I feel like he that's where they're gonna be different. He but it's it's also resonates a lot because it's very yin yang. You know, he's very masculine, she's very feminine. You know, ones that represents the dark, one represents the light. Um and so the counterpart here, who might be you, the feminine, will be uh, most likely a very feminine, soft um, almost angelic, fairy-like person, just very sweet and, and light and fluffy kind of person. So that's what I'm saying here. That's how I see this connection. Okay. So yeah, interesting. Very dynamic man that you're going to marry, probably your twin flame. All right. So let's see when we have the moon. The moon represents um, recognition, fame, and reflection see you guys are reflecting each other you guys are the same um like but one of you but like the moon reflects the sun so one of you is more like the sun and one of you is more like the moon but you reflect each other um and so most likely you will you're you will marry there will be a significant moon um cycle or event <laughs> like a lunar eclipse or full moon at a blue moon at midnight or some crazy thing like that it'll be a, a very a lunar event you've got the rider which represents um information and news and a visitor and speed and very soon <laughs> and then we have the lady she's the gentle lady see she's gentle and beautiful and feminine and and kind she has the rose which represents love and a gift and tokens and so yeah somebody that you already know or if you're the girl then this is you and then the key so the key represents uh, soulmates success in an important situation and in timing it represents now so this all is like now <laughs> which is really crazy all right, and then I'm going to give you a clue after we get the year. So come on, pendulum. Let's see what let's see if this is serious or not about now. See? 2020. <laughs> All right, congratulations, whoever's getting married out there. This could be your boyfriend, somebody that you already know. You could be your twin flame, and you're about to make, get married. That's crazy, but congratulations for those of you it resonates with. All right, let's see what the clue is. Look, see, your clue is courtship. So 
this does represent somebody you're already courting, that you already know, that you're already interacting with, that somebody that you love, that somebody that could be your boyfriend or girlfriend or somebody you're already engaged to even. Maybe this also represents that somebody that you that's your best friend, like really close to, closely connected, or somebody that definitely that you're already married to in the five D that could be it you know like your husband and wife in the in another dimension and maybe you'll be husband and wife in in the 3d if the the magician makes this seem very like esoteric like it's not even an earthly situation <laughs> it feels more like a star seed experience let's see what the charms have to say maybe they'll get it bring us back down to earth So we look we have a lot of words here this time. We have sure ever ever sure sing good songs sing good songs kisses love road idea sure something happening in the USA love happening in the USA <laughs> It could be um, a German German person, a German USA, you know, German American. Have. All right. Let's see. We have and China. Okay. And hope. There you go. And so interestingly, we had the twenty second came out. Both, all three piles, because the first pile was 2022, the second pile, 22 came out so as a day, 22, and you also have 22, so twos are important This for all three piles. You have Saint Anthony, who's the patron saint of lost love, and, <laughs> uh, and uh, oh my gosh, this is kind of like the saint of valentine's for for italy and also lost things and lost loves i'm laughing because i'm laugh, laughing because 21 was hiding beneath it and 21 is is next year and so that's coming up soon too and then we have um um artists possibly here maybe we have ki a lot of kissing this is a very affectionate couple something um a date or something might be happening soon in the evening or somebody likes, you know, your blood. I don't know. <laughs> we got some more dates. Let's see what, the, uh, what these dates have to say. We have three and nine. Maybe it's the September 9th. I mean, September 3rd. That's close. That's almost like now. We have um, Hollywood. Could be going for a drive. More ideas. I feel like this is going to be a very quick decision. And... <laughs> We've got Jasmine, who's stuck in the tower. I think it's going to be like snatching her and running off with her. There's an empress and emperor energy here. There's um, shoes stepping out. There's like scramble, like mixing it up really well. All the ingredients. Genesis, like a new start, new beginning. Maybe a very Adam and Eve situation. <laughs> like the lovers, yeah. And um, we have, yeah, the Emperor. Ooh, you got Pixie Dust. And you have the Four Leaf Clover and the um, United States. So that's, I feel like maybe a tour of the states. You have the, the X-Wing Fighter, which means the good guys are winning. When It's like wrongs are righted. The personality, he does seem a little interesting doesn't he very eccentric like jack skellington could be a pisces you've got an intuitive pisces so he could be very psychic very stable though despite his psychic abilities and you got the the infinity symbol just like uh the infinity symbol that's on the magician i feel like doesn't the leo have infinity too no not this one but i think some do and um yeah. 
Uh, I would like to do a few things here. I'm going to do Scrabble for everybody, for all three piles. So I'll put a timestamp for the Scrabble for everybody. And then, but right now for you guys, I'm going to pull a fairy dust card for you. Okay, and here we go with the fairy dust. I love this little box. So let's see. What's an extra message for this pile? Pile number three. Could be related to your who you're gonna marry. Be strong, just like that Leo card and strength card, and you're on the right path. Good. The way ahead is clear and true. You've chosen the right path for you. This kind of resonates with the private reading I had. I, I got seven to seven, 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 which is on the right path, and I think also got be strong. <laughs> Yeah, so be strong. You're on the right path. All right. So now that is it for you guys, unless you want to stick around for some Scrabble. And that way you can kind of get names and more messages, other kind of information. If not, then thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, big hugs. I love you so much. Thank you if you're a member uh, for su supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. And if you're just visiting, you know, everybody helps. Just your, just you visiting helps my channel, so appreciate it. But if you'd like to be a, a, a subscriber, just push the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Push that little bell for notifications, and there you go. You can... You can have access to this channel whenever you want. If you want to be a member and um, donate a little bit per month, you can get um, nice and in, inexpensive readings out of it. Um, just click on this little arrow right here to open up the information box, and that shows you all these different links that you can press and just see the stuff that I offer and and have fun with it. You can also look at all the different tabs that I have in my channel. I have a community page. I have um, a store, <laughs> I have a uh, playlist, you know, I have, uh, if you're interested in the Twin Flame stuff, or I have a playlist of that. I don't have an actual playlist of marriage, or who's your husband, or who's your wife, or who's your spouse, but all you have to do is type in Cherry Enchantress, and, and spouse, or husband, or wife, and those kinds of things will pop up. So I have I have other readings like that from maybe six months or more ago, and and maybe that resonates more than this, or maybe you know the date then will <laughs> reflects what's happening now into your life. So it's just weird. Like I think pile two was my futuristic pile, like people in in twenty twenty one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And now I'm gonna move on to the next and do scrapple. Hi everybody. So if you're pile one, I'm sorry I missed you, but now you can do, we can do Scrabble and I can do like more letters and get more messages. Pile two and three, this is a little bonus for you if you're interested in looking at some Scrabble to see more clues into your person that you're gonna get married to. So let's see, let's get a nice, this is my Scrabble. Bucket. All right, I'll take that handful. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe I'll put a little bit back. There we go. <laughs> I never usually get take that many out. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of eyes. Do do and an E and an S and an A and a T. And D, C, I feel like Vanna White, <laughs> except I'm not spelling out anything. We have day. Somebody might be marry, marrying in the daytime, or their person's last name is day, or maybe their person's last name is, like I was trying to find an O and an N, but there's not. Okay, let's see. Asat, asat, scat. It's no scots. Mm. We have. K. 
Hip. There's not very many good uh, consonants here. Well, let's see what. Um, cat. We have somebody who might be witty. Wit. Lots of eyes though. We don't need all those eyes. Uh, maybe I could throw in a couple eyes and see what I can get back. <laughs> maybe I'll try that. Let's do that. I'll take an A too and see if we can get anything else. And throw them back. We got a G. And a B. One more. Uh, the I came back. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Gives us a little bit more flexibility. Not a lot, though. We got wig again. I'd say wig again because that comes out for me all the time. Swig. And swag. And pay somebody who gets paid well. I T U, <laughs> but. I was thinking of getting that little app that gives you scrabbles, scrabble letters and you can see how many words you can make out of it. That would be good practice. But the problem is it gives negative feedback, which I just don't like. Dice. Dice, like, um, you know, chance. GTA. I think you might have to do do a lot of uh, kind of more rely on initials in this one. I know somebody with last name Wiss. I don't think that's how it's spelled, but. Uh, you have an idea, maybe. That's a good. That's good to know. Like you might have an idea who this is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you have an idea who this is. A lot of you out there kind of might already know them. Some of you might actually be boyfriend and girlfriends. And some of you might be twin flames. Some of you might know by the, like the end of this month. That's what came out in some of these. Dia for Spanish for day. Oh. I think Dia's Let's see, Diaz, Diaz. We got said. Packed.
bug. If we had an N, it would be twin. We have some of you might be marrying a Pete. Oh, I thought I had another E, I guess not. Or PETA, like PETA from <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> If I only had an N, it's apt. Side. Oh, we have Y's. That's good. They're going to be Y's. Okay, you guys. Hopefully, you guys are better at this than me. <laughs> so, if you see initials or messages or anything, this is your Scrabble message. What you've been dying for and you missed out on in pile one. I'm so sorry. And now this is kind of like anticlimactic. <laughs> But maybe you saw your person's initials and you got really excited. So I hope so. And I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.